Have you ever noticed how the most exceptional performers seem effortlessly calm under pressure? What if I told you that secret isn't trying harder, but learning to let go? Let me explain. I have observed many top performers in various fields, and they all share something in common. They appear relaxed and at ease even when facing intense challenges. It's as if they are not trying at all, yet they achieve amazing results. Now you might wonder, isn't trying harder the key to success? Well, that's what I used to think too, but I have discovered an ancient wisdom that suggests otherwise. It's a principle that could help us unlock our full potential without exhausting ourselves. This wisdom comes from an unexpected source and it might change the way you approach your goals. Are you ready to learn about this powerful secret? Let's explore it together. Have you ever watched a river flow around rocks, effortlessly finding its path? That's the essence of Wu Wei, the ancient Chinese concept we are about to explore. Wu Wei is often translated as non-action or effortless action. But it's not about doing nothing. It's about aligning with the natural flow of things. Let me explain Wu Wei in simple terms. Imagine you are swimming in a strong current. If you fight against it, you are tired quickly and make little progress. But if you work with the current, you'll move much faster with less effort. That's Wu Wei in action. Now you might wonder how this relates to peak performance. Well, think about those top performers we mentioned earlier. They are not forcing things or struggling against the tide. Instead, they are like that river, flowing around obstacles with ease. Wu Wei teaches us to be in harmony with our surroundings and ourselves. It's about finding the path of least resistance, not through laziness, but through wisdom and understanding. When we practice Wu Wei, we tap into our natural abilities to let them shine. Let's look at another example from nature. Have you seen how a tree bends in the wind? It doesn't try to stand rigid and fight the gust. Instead, it sways and adapts, allowing the wind to pass through its branches. This flexibility is its strength. In our daily lives, Wu Wei can help us achieve more by trying less. It's about finding the right moment to act and then doing so without overthinking or overexerting. This is what athletes call being in the zone, or what psychologists refer to as flow state. When we are in flow, time seems to slow down. We are fully present and our action seems effortless. This state of mind is where peak performance happens naturally. It's not about pushing harder, but about letting go and allowing our innate skills to take over. So how can we apply Wu Wei to our lives? It starts with awareness. Pay attention to when you are forcing things and when things flow naturally. Notice the difference in your energy levels and results. Then gradually learn to trust the process more and control less. Remember, Wu Wei isn't about being passive, it's about acting at the right time, in the right way, with the right energy. It's a practice that takes time to master, but even small steps can lead to significant improvements in how we approach challenges and achieve our goals. Have you ever noticed how focusing too much on results can actually hold you back? Let's talk about a simple shift in thinking that can make a big difference in how you perform. When we get caught up in the outcome, we often forget about the journey. It's like trying to reach the top 
of a mountain, while constantly looking at a peak, you might trip over rocks right in front of you. I have experienced this myself, especially with public speaking. In the past, I would worry so much about how the audience would react that I could barely speak at all. My mind would go blank and my words would come out jumbled. It was frustrating because I knew I could do better. But then I learned something important. Instead of thinking about what I wanted from the audience, their approval or applause, I started to focus on what I could give them. I asked myself, how could I help these people today? How can I share that might make their lives a little better? This simple change make a world of difference. When I stopped worrying about the outcome and started thinking about the process of sharing and helping, something amazing happened. The words began to flow more easily. I felt more relaxed and confident on stage. It's not just about public speaking though. This idea can apply to anything you do. When you shift your focus from getting to giving, from the end result to the process itself, you open yourself up to a whole new level of performance. Think about it like this. When you are doing something you enjoy, like playing a game or talking with friends, do you worry about the outcome? Probably not. You are just in the moment having fun. That's the kind of mindset we want to bring to our work and our goals. So how can you make this shift in your own life? Start by paying attention to your thoughts when you are working on something important. Are you constantly thinking about the end results? Try to guide your mind back to the present moment. Focus on the task at hand, on the value you are creating, on the skills you are using and developing. Remember, it is not about ignoring your goals completely. It's about finding a balance between knowing where you want to go and enjoying the steps you are taking to get there. When you do this, you might find that you not only perform better, but also enjoy the process a lot more. Have you ever wondered how some people make extraordinary achievements look effortless? Take Yo-Yo Ma, the world-renowned cellist. He imbues his performances with a natural grace and flow. This is because of his deep connection with the music. He doesn't force the notes but allows the music to flow through him, expressing his emotions with effortless precision. Yo-Yo Ma achieves peak performance by letting go of ego and surrendering to the music. Now let's consider Roger Federer, often called the greatest tennis player of all time. Have you noticed how calm he appears on the court? Even under intense pressure, Federer seems relaxed and focused. He's not thinking about winning or losing. Instead, he's fully present in each moment, letting his years of practice guide his actions. How does this approach impact their performance. Well, when you let go of the need for external validation, you free up mental energy. You are no longer distracted by worries about what others think. This allows you to fully immerse yourself in what you are doing. Think about a time when you were so absorbed in an activity that you lost track of time. Maybe it was while painting, playing music, or solving a puzzle. That state of flow is what these top performers experience regularly. They have learned to access it by letting go of outcomes and focusing on the process. Now you might be thinking, that's great for world-class artists and athletes, but how does this apply to me? Well, the principles are the same, no matter what level you are at. Whether you are giving a presentation at work, learning a new skill, or even just having a conversation, you can practice letting go. Start by focusing on what you can give rather than what you can get. Instead of worrying about impressing others, think about how you can help or contribute. 
This shift of focus can help you tap into your natural abilities and perform at your best. Remember, letting go doesn't mean not caring. It means trusting in your abilities and the process. It's about being fully present and allowing things to unfold naturally. With practice, you can experience this power of Wu Wei in your daily life. Now that we have explored Wu Wei and seen how it works in real life, let's talk about how you can use it every day. How can you embrace this idea of effortless action? <laughs> it's simpler than you might think. First, remember that Wu Wei isn't about doing absolutely nothing. It's about acting in harmony with your surroundings. Try this. Next time you are facing a challenge, take a deep breath and relax. Don't rush to act. Instead, observe the situation. What's the natural flow? How can you work with it, not against it? Start small. Maybe practice Wu Wei when you are having a conversation. Instead of planning what to say next, just listen. Let your responses come naturally. You might be surprised at how much easier and more enjoyable your chats become. The key is to focus on the process, not the outcome. Enjoy what you are doing for its own sake. When you do this, you will often find that good results follow naturally. <laughs>